Hello and welcome to Track Ops. I am your host today. I am Chuck Cox. And today I'm going to be walking you through how to create a custom document template using Microsoft Word. So we're going to start out by accessing the document template module within Track Ops. So I'm here in my settings and I'm going to click document templates here on the left side. And if I had any document templates in here, this is where I could find them. And today we're going to click New Document Template to create a new one. And the first thing the system is going to want you to do is name the template. So we'll go ahead and do that. The next thing it would ask us to do is to upload the template file. We haven't created our document yet, so we're not quite ready to do that. But one of the reasons I wanted to start here in Track Ops first is this nifty link here to view template variables. If I click that, it'll actually give me a list of all my available template variables. And that's important because I'm going to probably want to have this open next to my Word document so that I can quickly copy these template variables as I use them and build them into my report. So I'm actually going to grab the case number because we're going to use that today. So now that I've got that variable copied, let's go ahead and insert it into our document template. So here we are in Microsoft Word and I've opened a document, a sample investigation report that we've already started building. And you can actually download this same sample document from an article on our support site. And I'll drop a link to that article here in the video for you to quickly access it. But if we scroll down, we notice that we've already entered in some of our template variables. And these have already been inserted in the document. But if we scroll down more, we notice that we have a couple spaces here that we'd like to implement some other template variables. And so the first step we want to do is, is place our cursor where we want to insert this variable. And then we want, to, we want to click our insert from our toolbar. So in my version of Word, I actually have an insert tab here at the top of my toolbar. So we'll go ahead and click that tab. And once we do that, we can select an icon here on the right called Insert Field. And that'll bring up our prompt to insert our template variable. So if you don't have this Insert tab on your version of Word, it's likely that you have the same Insert button located at your top menu bar. If you click Insert up there on your menu bar, it'll bring you a drop-down list, and you can select Field from that list. So from our prompt here, we'll want to select a category and then a field name. So our category that we want to select is called Mail Merge, and then our field name is called Merge Field. Once we have those selected, we can then paste our template variable down in our box here. And then once we have it pasted, we can click OK. And now our case number variable is populated for us in our document. So let's run through that one more time. I have another field that I want to add into the template here. And that is for my claimant, which is actually my subject name. So I'm going to go back into Track Ops. And then from my template variable list, scroll down to my subject variables. And I'm going to select my subject full name. Again, we're going to copy that. And then we're going to bring back our Word document. And then from our Word document, we're going to click Insert. We're going to click Insert Field. We're going to select Mail Merge as our category. And then we're going to select Merge Field as our field name. We're going to paste our template variable and then click OK. And now it populates for us here as well. So now that I've got my template variables all inserted in my document and I have it the way I want, I can go ahead and save my document and then I can upload it into Track Ops so then it's ready to be generated on a case. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I'm back in my document template screen and I'll click Choose File. I'll look through my computer hard drive. I'll grab the document and click Open and now it's uploaded here in our system. Once we upload it, there are a couple other items that we want to make sure that we have configured before we click Save Document Template. One of those here is our option for Template Uses Microsoft Word Merge Fields. So because we're using Merge Fields in our method to build our document template, we want to make sure this box is checked. If we were using another method such as copy-paste directly into the Word document, I would not want to have this box checked. And furthermore, 
there really is no in between. You can't mix and match. It's either all merge fields or no merge fields. And we would highly suggest utilizing the merge fields as this is your best method in creating your document templates. Once we get that, we can then restrict the template to certain access groups. This would eliminate various user roles from being able to generate this document on a case. Next, we can then make the template available for certain case types. So you may have case types in your system where this field investigation report just really doesn't apply. And so you can leave those off. So let's go ahead and select the ones that apply for us. And then we'll click Save Document Template. And now I've successfully created and uploaded my document template in TrackOps. So now I'm actually ready to generate this on a case. So I'm actually going to go into a case and generate the document so we can take a look at it. Once we're in our case, we can click New, New Document. We'll select from our list of documents. We only have one right now, so we'll select that one. And then we'll click Generate. Once it does that, it's going to spit out another generated Microsoft Word document. And we can then open that document and check out its contents to make sure our variables have populated correctly. So now we're back in our generated Word document, and we can see that our variables have successfully populated for us on this generated document. If you have any other questions for me about document templates or merge fields within Microsoft Word, you can always drop us a quick question by emailing us at support at trackops.com and we'll get to your question as quickly as we can. Thanks again for using TrackOps.